Hi guys, welcome back to iMobi channel. If your old iPad says, iPad is disabled connect to iTunes, the most likely cause is that you've entered the wrong passcode too many times in a row. New iPad OS also has a similar security feature, but it will say, iPad unavailable. No matter what the device has said, the methods to fix them are actually the same. So in this video, we'll cover iPad is disabled connect to iTunes how to fix it in three ways. First you need to connect your iPad to your computer with a USB cable, then iTunes will pop up on your computer screen. But there's no reset option if you just connected, because you need to put your Apple device into recovery mode after you connected. Power off your iPad, then press power button and volume down button until the recovery screen comes out. Then look back to your computer screen. iTunes will pop up a window of iPad update or restore. Click restore iPad here. And then confirm that update and restore. Next, your iPad software is downloading. Please wait for a while. And please don't unplug your iPad. After download is completed, iTunes will automatically extract the software information. Then iPad software will be restoring. After it's verifying the iPad software, the iPad firmware also will be restoring. Please wait patiently. Now your iPad is disabled connect to iTunes issue is fixed successfully. You just need to set up your iPad step by step. Before you start unlocking screen passcode, get any unlock downloaded on your computer. After downloading and installing any unlock on your computer successfully, please connect your iPad to computer with a USB cable. Then, launch the software on your computer and choose Unlock Screen Passcode Mode Once your iPad is recognized by any unlock successfully, the following interface will be displayed. Then, please click Start Now button. Then. Any unlock will automatically detect your device model. After your device info is shown on the app, please choose the firmware version provided. Also you can customize the downloading path, and then click Download button. After clicking Download button, the downloading process will start automatically. And it may take some time to download the firmware package, so please keep patient. After the firmware package downloading was completely, please select Unlock Now option. Then any unlock will start to remove screen passcode automatically. Please keep your device connected to computer via the USB cable during the unlocking process. Just in a few minutes, the screen passcode will be removed from your device. Now you've fixed your disabled iPad, and you just need to set it up.
if your iPad is disabled, but you still know your iPhone passcode and iCloud account. Then you can use Find My App on iPhone to erase your iPad easily. Turn on Find My App on your iPhone and select the iPad that is disabled in the list. Scroll down, there's an Erase This Device option. Tap it and tap Continue. Tap on Erase. Input your Apple ID password. Wait a minute. iPad is erased now. You just need to wait it for setup. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more tips. And leave your comment if you have any questions.